this project that we've been working on here has been years in the making. It started with John Johnson introducing us to the Ethnological Museum here in Berlin, and then this beautiful partnership grew. And so it turned into this project called Getting Our Stories Back. And it's really focusing on um, reconnecting to the artifacts that were um, collected by Jakobsen in the 1800s and allowing the elders from our region to see them, feel them, reconnect to the culture and the history that's um, ingrained in the artifacts. One of the explorers was uh, Jakobsen, who came to our region in the early days. He, he came to, he traveled all across Alaska. He was interested in studying his, his collection and found out he came through the Chiniga area. Before that, he came to Nanwalik or English Bay, where also a Russian fortress was built called Fort St. Alexandrovsky. And he made collections around that area in the lower Cook Inlet area that were repatriated, eventually repatriated back to the Chugach Alaska Corporation. This trip is the second stage, second story of the trip we made in 2019. When we first come over here to look at the artifacts, when Mark called me up and asked me if I could go to Berlin, and I said, go to Berlin? What do I need to go to Berlin for? They have a lot of artifacts from the Copper River Delta in the Prince William Sound area. And I came, I seen, and then I said, well, thank you very much, because now I have a culture issue. We're trying to preserve our languages, but we had no idea what the artifacts were that was taken from our areas in 1881 to 83. So by coming over here and seeing and touching, and just like uh, we said, uh, this is a little bit different than this trip, we were actually to, able to put the garms on. And how I felt when uh, they put the shaman's robe on me, the one that we've seen today, uh, held it up and, and then take pictures with it. It was like our ancestors saying, where have you been? We've been waiting for you. Our region has had a lot of culture loss due to colonization and due to a lot of historical trauma um, that's happened to a lot of indigenous communities. So this is a chance for us to, you know, start that healing process of reconnecting and, you know, continuing the culture that, that hasn't been lost because it's still here, it's still preserved in these museums, you know, and that's why we're lucky to be able to be in contact with these artifacts because that culture that was, you know, we consider lost is still there, it's still preserved. What do you expect to gain from this trip? Um, just a reconnection and to possibly figure out how to have a better relationship with Germany and, and the artifacts that are here and the possibilities of maybe having them repatriated. Coming to the, this museum and hearing all the stories and stuff, it really had a lot of, um, a lot of influence from listening and learning. It's all a learning thing for me because I, you know, I still don't know everything. I don't have answers and I don't know if anyone is around us, but you know, they have beliefs or something, stuff like that. So uh, it was really great to come here and listen to other tribes in our area talk about, you know, seeing their, their you know, the, uh, artifacts and feeling, seeing their pride, you know, through their, through their happiness. So having access to these artifacts is a, a big step in re cultural revitalization and reconnection and bringing that culture um, into the future and sharing it with the future generations and also allowing access to all of this um, culture, like I'm talking about, that's embedded into the artifacts and um, to our communities and to the children and to artists that are, you know, working so hard to recreate um, the items from our past. I think this is really important uh, for the people from, from our, our region because uh, so much of our culture was taken away from us uh, in so many various ways that uh, it's like when sometimes the young kids will say, what is our culture? And, you know, sometimes 
sometimes even as adults, we don't know anymore just because we've lost so much of it. And so the cool thing about being on this trip is that um, I've learned that, man, we can really reclaim. There's a lot of uh, technology that was very effective for our people for thousands of years. These artifacts were collected um, over 140 years ago. They give us a good snapshot into the tools and the clothing that our ancestors used and that they were able to utilize to survive so well for hundreds and, and even thousands of years. To me, this trip uh, to me, means to me personally uh, being able to see how my ancestors, how they lived, um, and just uh, try to find that connection uh, to help me uh, piece uh, the culture aspect of my life. Uh, uh, because I am learning the language, uh, and I am a language teacher, so it's a language teacher, um, but help seeing these artifacts helps tie it all together, and uh, that'll help me uh, piece together how our people might have been. What's so fabulous about the Berlin Museum here is we're developing a relationship for the future. So we've got younger people with us that are going to continue to have the desire to, to learn and to teach the next generation. And by doing all this, it's going to be a fabulous uh, future for the people. Like I said, long ago we, we used to fight each other, now we, we fight together for survival.